My name is Carolyn Schmidt and I am the Manager of Instructional Design and Technology and this is our team. My name is Taylor Moore and I'm an Instructional Designer here at the Media Resources Center. Basically what I do is help assist professors with building content in their online courses. I have a bachelor's and master's degree in criminal justice from WSU. So having a background in criminal justice really helps because I can get in touch with professors on a personal basis. And if there's any questions from professionals that we have here, I really have that background connection. Hello, my name is Tori Wynn and I am an instructional des designer here at Wichita State University. Uh, generally, I work on uh, different classes throughout the university. I've already had my hands involved in the uh, dental hygiene program, uh, the history program, and now criminal justice. Uh, for this criminal justice project that we've been working on, I've been really focusing on the video tutorials part. Uh, the video tutorials are eventually going to become um, a large resource for faculty and students throughout the campus. The video tutorials cover things from how to submit assignments in Blackboard, to how to create self and peer assessments, to how to use Google Docs. Uh, hi, my name is Caleb. Uh, I work here uh, in the Media Resources Center as the Digital Content Marketing Manager. Uh, we do a lot with uh, banners and uh, other images for, for classes. Graphics are important to me because I'm a visual learner, obviously, and if something is not uh, visually pleasing, then I uh, sometimes get, I can turn off and it's, hard, it's harder for me to learn. But if something looks good and it looks nice and can tie together with what I'm learning, it helps me learn, it keeps me uh, motivated, it keeps me engaged with the content and uh, makes uh, the whole overall experience better, I think. Uh, my name is Jay. Uh, I'm an educational technologist here at uh, Wichita State. Uh, basically, that's a fancy term for uh, troubleshooter or problem solver. I get to work with uh, faculty, and staff, and sometimes students uh, to help them solve technological problems. On one given day, I can be working with an ornithologist on campus, and then the next day a violinist, and then the next day a statistician. So I get to meet and, and work with all kinds of folks um, all over the place. I love it. Oh, and I'm also shooting this video. Hi, I'm Mary. I've been at the uh, Media Resources for 19 years right now, and currently I'm working with the IDD department. I do a little bit of everything. Mostly I do the level two Blackboard problem solving for faculty and students. We have a one-stop system here where students and faculty can submit tickets when they have questions. Some of those questions are a little bit beyond the one-stop uh, expertise, so they refer them to level two, and for Blackboard, that is largely myself. I have um, a knack at unpeeling problems in Blackboard. It's a little bit like peeling an onion away till you get to the heart of the uh, problem, and then working with the faculty make things work. I just love it. I um, look forward to those calls coming in. From time to time, we take a couple of weeks out of our regular schedule to focus on a particular department and their needs. We just got done working on criminal justice. Criminal justice gave us 21 classes, uh, undergraduate and graduate classes that are for their online program. So we took all of those classes and all of these different stages of development and we put them through our process. One of the things that we do when we do these kinds of programs is to make sure that the courses have a professional look and feel. So the look and feel is going to be different for criminal justice courses than it would be for courses from other departments. But within a particular program, it's going to have a symmetry and a unity to it that's just going to make the students feel comfortable and make the courses feel professional. We are helping to make these courses more accessible and also just more usable for both students and faculty. So for example, we have added a number of online videos to these courses. These are videos that we created. They were all done in-house on how to do things. And we have them there for students and also for faculty members. 
One of the things that we have to offer out of our office is over 45 years of combined online teaching experience. We have experience teaching humanities courses, uh, social science courses, hard science courses. So no matter what kind of challenge you bring to us, we have someone in this office who can help you with that. So this is our team and this is what we do. Every day is a little bit different because every day is based upon the needs of the faculty members we work with. So we're basically sitting here waiting for you to come and tell us what to do and we're happy to work with you. Thank you.